you know, read it the read it the mafia boss fight and this time we managed to get to talk to her. <laughs> My beautiful middle body you win runner, you freaking win. Frag you and frag gold rag smelly fragger. Her eyes close and her servers go silent forever. Fifteen karma points. Thank you very much. Ah, but what next? The crows. Final update. Redmond Mafia boss was pinpointed in an in industrial area, and the Shadow Runner hit team was dispatched. Using brute force and extreme violence, the team smashed into the building, forced their way past internal defense teams and systems, and faced off with the Mafia boss in her own office. Unwilling to change her alliances, even faced with a dangerous group of mercenaries, she stood and fought. Fight. Trusting in her expensive and potent cybernetic enhancements. Long story short, they failed her. Slain in her own office, the Redmond Mafia underbosses will now try to grab whatever they can and set themselves up as independent bosses or try to seize control of the whole organization. With those immediate needs before them, we feel confident the Mafia will not be able to aid the crowd in the immediate future and other crime syndicates more amenable to our cause is being allowed to gobble up their territory, further weakening them and delaying any possible return to the crowd pool. So, now what? They have the option to go shopping, I'll do that. Get the protection against magic. It will reduce their chance to hit us a little bit, but it's not a perfect solution. Doesn't do anything against area of effect attacks, for example. Which is odd. Or does it? I'm not sure. I don't think it does. Which is odd, because with grenades you can at least dodge them. I mean, uh, at least uh, grenades that support drones fire. Not sure fireballs and the like follow the same system. Doesn't really matter. We should oh crap, there's no way we can do shit. Um we won't have spell slots. Still there's only one way to find out. Magic resistance. Magic resistance. Two hundred. Uh, 
there is a chance, I think, if uh, there's a minimum spell slot, we can keep it. Yep, one slot. The Adept games a light cover bonus to magic spells. That's uh, I think that's about I don't know twenty something percent reduction in the chance to hit. What to do with the rest? More dark. I don't know. In many ways, having better accuracy would be great too. But the difference there would be so minimal. Maybe more dodge and more willpower. Try to buff up our survival 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 abilities. Did it leave four to willpower? Hmm. I'm gonna take one extra willpower at least. But where put the next point? Yeah. So toughening ourselves up again the spells a little bit, making harder us harder to hit and making us harder to hit against physical attacks. Don't think I'll be green points in dodge anymore. Probably not in will maximum one more in willpower. But that's that something else. I don't know what the something else would be important. Okay, let's report our success and see what what happens next. We need to move against the crowds. Cascade crowds. Crows. Cascade crews. I do wish that that is where the game will end though. It's been a decent ride, but it's a. Uh, it's a. It, the length is starting to be felt because it's all formulaic. Nothing really has changed for a long time. There's always the two paths, and the killing path is always the same two parter. There's part totally pointless identical groups after identical groups after identical groups usually if there's something interesting it's in the latter part so just it's not bad but it's uh, it's it, it fails to keep itself fresh there's not enough variation Finish chapter 3. That's all 3, our work here is done. Alright you are. So much going on, so fast, I can barely keep up. It's been a pleasure my friend. Get back to the safe house when you're ready. I'm sure Goldrack will contact you with the next set of instructions. Hell, I don't even know what's next yet. Guessing it's another hub. Maybe in a series of missions that will end us with us taking care of the Cascade Crows, which is fine.
it will see. The calm unit passes again and Guldrak jumping on a sick and it's Guldrak jumping on a cigar butt. Great work, Chummer. I couldn't have done better myself. The leadership of all three groups is now out of the our hair, and we can get after these crowd fraggers once and for all. Ah, uh, great, where do we start? He grins broadly around the sloppy remains of the extinguished cigar shifting it messily from one side of his mouth to the other with his lips. Ah, man after my own heart. Where have you been all my life? No matter, time for hobnabbing and knobs loving later. There's always work to do. Fingers the size of fat German sausages pull the saliva trans corpse of the cigar from his mouth and he leers in close to his communicator. We're taking it to the crow finally. We need to tread lightly here as the UCAS and the Salish are both pretending to look the other way right now. The Salish uh, can't of course openly support the crow, but they will certainly have no problems moving into the barrens and claiming some human humanitarian nonsense but how the UCAS and Seattle can't control their own territory or some other bleeding heart liberal cripple. And we can't cause Seattle to panic. That would be almost as bad as losing the barons to out of control rioting and violence. Been there, done that, accidentally leveled a few slums in my time. Not pretty. Her honor, Mayor Schultz, has said herself. A couple of thousand troops can solve any social issues, so instead of out of control crime and crazy cannibals, the Baron skits to enjoy some urban renewal by heavy artillery. Can't have that, Chummer. That's why we pay you the big bucks. So we sneak into the Salish territory with them without them knowing about it, disable the Crow leadership and ride off into the sunset. The stuff that shows that kind of character a runner is made of. Hmm. Character? Sorry, Chummer. Titanium is what I'm made of. He laughs hard at this before turning back to the calm, calm video pickup. And then you won't have any problems. Hit the calm unit on the wall by the door when you are ready to go. We'll extract you from Seattle and Cynthia and the other runners on separate monorail runs out of town. Now don't go running on a shopping spree or, no or nothing. I'll have plenty of supplies waiting and all my dealers at hand. Who knows? They may even have some special gear now that you can probably afford it. I'd wish you luck, but your hoop don't need any luck. Give him hell, Smiley. Manifold in this in Seattle. Bullet train carries you out of Seattle, and once more you find yourself a quiet moment to pause and think. Monorail whisks you out of Seattle, every minute falling another two miles behind. It's been a busy last few weeks and you find yourself now hurling towards a still uncertain future. At least you have a moment now to reflect on the recent past. Bone Shaman came to Seattle for human grit, grist to feed into their ritualistic meal. Their master's lie is dead now, his shredded corpse joining those of many of his victims. The remnants of the fellow blood cultists are scattering. Survivors, blah 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 blah. Are we gonna get up? Yeah. Seventh sign mage. I thought they knew the truth, but they sure got it all wrong. You splattered their leadership across the walls. 
of their ornate castle. They risk, argue, and debate the philosophical implications, and others try to make sense of their net failure. The case while they did their events pass by them. Mafia thought they were safe, protected by their patrons and their own legions of gangsters. Emboldened, they attempted to seize control of all crime in the barons. They were proven wrong when they kicked down when you kicked down their doors and ended their involvement with an emphatically excessive display of violence. Base camp. Your base camp is hidden deep within the forest here, isolated and segregated from prayer prying eyes, and out of the way from most drone and satellite coverage. As you approach the main entrance, you begin to notice activity from within the hurriedly built concrete walls. Shadow runners bolt to and fro, and various errands. Equipment dealers are setting up their stocks, and vehicles rumble past on their way to destinations unknown. You'll be able to stock up on any gear you need here, as well as find out what's next on the agenda. Ah, so the final chapter. Now uh, 22,003 karma. We are not going to be able to buy anything that makes a, a real difference at this point. Mm, so, karma is pretty much meaningless. It's the money that counts. If there's any upgrades to be had, it's through money. We don't really have any abilities we are missing and upgrade armor, so it has to be something unique that the campaign designer has created specifically for this module. Because I can't think of anything that is part of the original campaign or Dragonfall that would be better than what I'm seeing here.